Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you two concepts. The first one is the page view widget and the second one is it's a very simple one how to add icons or text over the image. So here I've designed a cool looking um, app which is a series of pages. So first I'll show you the demo of this app. So it's series of pages so this is the first page which gives you a flight information and these are the uh, text that I've placed over the um, image so if I scroll it horizontally you can see the second page and then the third page and then the fourth page and then back to the and then the fifth page so this is how you could use the page view concept and um, so first let me show you how to use it it is very simple well, first thing I've added all my pages. So these are my pages. So I've used in a different Dart file. And then in my main file, I'm just going to add all of them in a list of type widget. So to start up with, to create a page view, see if you already know the number of pages, you can just use page view. But if you want to use pages from your database and you don't know the count of it, it is always good to use a builder so in a page builder there are a lot of properties so you can control the scroll direction with the vertical or horizontal and uh, there is also properties like um, item builder in our case we are going to use item builder with a um, anonymous function we are going to give context and position so that we know in which page we are currently and then I'm just going to use this list, which is the my pages, and then use the position attribute. And then I'm also going to give the item count, which is nothing but my pages dot length. That's it. So if you do this, you should be able to view all your pages, whatever content you have, and this is how it would look like. And there are a couple of other properties also where you could use controller and uh, that's called page page view controller um, uh, I think I meant it as page controller not page view controller in this you have another prop couple of properties uh, if you click on it there is something called viewport fraction so this property is used to display your page see right now I'm displaying this image as a full width in case if you don't want as a full width you want while sliding to show a different width you could reduce the size and also you can use initial page which page do you want to set as your initial page so that is also possible so right now I'm not going to give those properties. I'm just going to keep it the same. So just by using this page view builder, you can use your pages and scroll them and get this effect. So the next topic that I'm going to cover is how to add icons or text over the image. So let me clear this template and I'll then we can start up with the topic. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to add an icon or a text over this image say for example you want to add all the social icons like LinkedIn or Instagram Facebook Twitter or if you want to add, add a like symbol here it's possible so what I've done is I just have two images here I'm in two pages and I'm not using a builder here because I already know that it's just gonna be two pages so in this case I'm using a page view um, and I'm just adding a children array and I'm mentioning those two pages. So if you move on to this page one, all I have is a container with an image. That's what you see here. So it's just a container with an image. Now to add an um, overlapping or overlaying image, uh, I mean, add to add an icon over this image, all you have to do is use stack, stack and position widget. So what I'm going to do is after my decoration, I'm going to add a stack 
So basically you're stacking something over an image and inside my stack I can create a children array and I'm going to use positioned widget and uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. So first thing what I'll do is it requires a child So there are a couple of ways. Either you can add a text at the center or any other place or you could add something at the corners of the screen. So first I'm going to show you how to add um, icons or text on the corner of the screen. So you need to use um, uh, the factors called right, left, top, bottom. So in this case I'm going to say right. So I'm going to use it right and top so that I can see it on the right top corner with 0, 0. And then I'm going to add a child to it. So what I want to display, this time I'm going to use an icon. And it will um, star or heart icon. So I'm going to use um, star and uh, give it a color, red. And then I'm also going to give a size, which is 30. So this way, I'm able to add an icon over the um, image. So let me do a quick hot restart and show you how it looks like. So I have, um, I mean, the application has built successfully. And um, so the first thing that you could see is the star and it's placed on the right top. And on my page two, I've added a text, which is um, the goal date and it's in the bottom right. So you can see here, it's the right and the bottom. So this way you can place your, um, text over or text or icons over your image so today we have seen uh, two things one is the page view where you can add pages and get it either vertical or horizontal scroll and another one is how to add icons and text over images so that's it for the video and uh, yeah in case if you want me to do a video on how to add this content um, on the image do let me know in the comments below I'll get back to you on a separate video and uh, please do like and subscribe um, if you like it and thank you